Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an update for the Panners plan for you. And I'm pretty excited about this one because we're rolling a product out. I'm sure you can guess which one, but let's jump right in. And of course leaving that one to the last. Starting off with my Vice palette and in the Vice palette I am working on the purple shade for Paula from Beauty Guru Make Me Do It. Um, so this shade right here I have <laughs> once again not worn it as much as I hoped I would. It's been in here way too long and it, I should have definitely hit pan on this one by now but I haven't. I have used this for as far as I'm aware one time over the last month which is today. I have it on my lids right now which is something else um, on top of it. And uh, yeah, I will promise you guys that when we get into the new year, this shade is going to be very much a focus shade once I'm kind of like done with trying to still get as much out of my Panda palette as possible this year. And there will be pan on that one soon-ish. <laughs> um, let's straight away move on to the other eyeshadow palette that I'm working on. This is the NYX eyeshadow palette in Secret World and in that one I'm working on the dark green shade right here and that is for Rebecca, Rebecca Morgan. Um, she loves green shades so <laughs> I uh, thought that especially a grungy one would fit her very well. I honestly don't remember properly if I've used this. If I have it was somewhere at the start of the month or at least the, the month since the last update but I have not used this in the last few weeks that I remember anyway so also that one I'm promising to be better with this one once we get into the new year but yeah <laughs> let's see one that I have been really consistent with though is this NARS highlighter Albatross highlighter which I have in here for Laura for Laura Force and well there is a lot of pen showing but still that side pen right here I have not hit and I'm still hoping that I can get there maybe this year. Uh, we will see though. It is definitely getting pretty flat on the side right there. So maybe I will surprise myself and my next update I will have side pen. Although I feel like it might need at least one or two more updates than that. But we will find out. Then the one that I rolled in last time. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Sweetheart. And I rolled this in for Emily. Um, based on the Halloween project that she kind of came up with and this is a product that is uh, with like going with the, the themes of that project is both a resurrection and a cobwebs product because I've had it forever plus it's been in multiple projects and I just haven't made the progress on it that I wanted to so I did roll it in here um, of course I haven't used it a lot yet because I've had some other things that I wanted to focus on but this will be more of a focused product also going into the new year. I feel like I'm kind of a broken record there. But I have used this one time, which is today. I topped it on top of my Apocalypse lip lacquer. And that's all so far. But there will be a lot more use on this one in the next year. And this will be done by the end of 22. I feel like I may have said that about this year as well. Last year, but eh. <laughs> Um, lastly, the Zoya nail polish that I have in here for Joy from Joyful Beauty. Um, this is Aurora and it is done. So really excited about that. Means I have another nail polish finished and I can finally full focus go back to my um, project polish polishes again. I've made so many like little bits of progress on this guy. But I finally managed to get there. I still have the remnants of my last manicure with this one on my fingers right now which is I definitely need to redo my nails but yeah I love the shade I love the like multi-chrome glitters that are in it but I also love the fact that it's done now and I can focus on some other things again at least one more eyeshadow that I can add to my amount of finished eyeshadows this year so I'm excited about that but then because I rolled something out that means I'm rolling something new in and I've been thinking about this a little bit I've had a list of like some people that I knew I wanted to roll in um, and I have decided this time around to go with Alexi um, Alexandra Joste. I don't know how to properly pronounce that because 
I don't speak that language very well, but her and Rebecca have been doing the roulette pan collab for a good little while now, so I've decided for her to just go to my roulette pan collab prompt, pick something from there and see what I can link to the prompt that I'm getting. So let's uh, go there and uh, see what we're gonna get. Okay, so I've got my pretty random app here and I've got the prompt right in front of me on my laptop that's on my lap right now. Let's roll. I'm, uh, I've decided to go with just the shades or the, the prompts that I still had left in my sheet here anyway. And this is number 45 of those. And number 45 is a cool toned item. Um, I have loads of those, so that's not a problem. Of course, you guys know I'm working very hard on a silver in my Panda palette. Um, so also this might not be getting well, maybe I can do something. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look because I'm thinking eyeshadow straight away, but there might be other things that I can do here as well. I will be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back and I've almost made my decision, um, but I know I'm not gonna be using any of these products that I'm kind of thinking about probably within the next couple of days or even possibly the next couple of weeks. Um, so I thought let's make sure you guys can help me decide what I'm actually gonna pick. I did end up with eyeshadows anyway just because I don't like wearing um, like very cool toned lip products and in reality I don't have a lot of cool toned anything except for some eyeshadows. I've got like one very bright uh, pink blush but apart from that not really a lot of like things that I do not already have in other projects so um, Let's stop rambling and shit, let me show you guys what I'm thinking of. So either I'm going to be putting this pigment in and my goal for it will be to use it up completely. It's 1.75 grams of product. I've made the tiniest bit of progress on this one already, but there definitely is still a fair bit of product in there. Or I was looking at my Creative Me palette and saw a fairly neutral shade in here that is cool toned as well, which is kind of this mauve shade right here that I should be able to incorporate quite okay into um, any of my looks going forward. Um, maybe as a lid shade as well. That is the mauve shade right there. And let me swatch that pigment for you guys as well. The pigment looks like that, so that's very much like a highlighty um, inner corner or lid shade as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Which of these shades both cool tones should I be rolling into this project? And uh, I will update you guys on that next update. Let's see. Um, but yeah, that is it for now. No official decisions yet, but I'm hoping you guys can help me out. And uh, oh yeah, for this one, for the other, um, the one in the Creative Me Shades palette, I would want to hit panel that one. So the goal will be a little bit less ambitious. Um, but I also would love to actually use up that pigment at some point. So, yes, that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.